So um, we made our tile last video or last week. And um, basically that, that one tile we're going to use for our background for our Kahende Wiley portraits. And the cool thing was you got to create it how you wanted to. It could be in color. It could be in black and white. It could be, um, it could be uh, geometric shapes. It could be organic shapes. It could be realistic. It could be really pretty much ever, whatever you wanted as long as it's your drawing and it's school appropriate. Okay, those two things are important. So um, now what you can see, what I have here right now um, are a few different tabs open, okay? And I have two different tabs, both open to Pixlr, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to set them both to Pixlr E, okay? Set them both to Pixlr E, right? Um, this one over here, I'm going to go ahead and click that background tile that I had finished, okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and take this, and I'm going to click it, and I'm going to pull it down, I'm going to take it over here to the left, like that. So it's on the left side of my screen. Okay. Now I'm going to click back over here. I will come back to this. Okay. I'm going to click back over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new tile. Okay. Um, and right here, I'm going to name this your last name. And then we're going to write repeater tile. Okay. Um, these dimensions are going to be the same, so 400 by 400, okay? Do we want a background? Yes, we do. And we're going to make it white, okay? And we're going to click Create, okay? Now, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, and I'm going to drag it over here all the way to the right like that, okay? Now, this guy over here, I'm going to make him big for a minute. Okay, because we're going to be working back and forth with him. I want this to be as big as I can get on my screen because it will be easier to line up and get what I need. Okay, so 138 is too big. I'm going to change this to like 135 and see if. I, okay, and see how I can see now that it's at 135%, I can see still a little bit of black down here on the bottom. That's good. Okay, now this is where that dot comes into play. We're going to be breaking up this image into four basic spaces, okay, one at a time. So there's going to be a top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. And I'm going to explain what to do with those, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this marquee tool and make sure it's the rectangular one, okay? And I'm going to come right down here. We put that dot at the center for a reason, okay? And I did this before using a line. And later on, you have to do a lot more cleanup work. With just a dot, it's a lot easier to clean up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right down here to the dot and put my cursor right there on the dot. You want to make sure that it's right in the center, too. Um, and the way that you do that is you look at the coordinates here. Okay, you look at those coordinates, X and Y coordinates, and see if it's right on the center. Right there, see how it says 200, 200? I'm going to click. I'm going to drag it up here to the left like this. I'm going to select that whole left portion. Okay, now that it's selected, I'm going to click Control C to copy it. Okay, now I'm going to take this over here and put it on the left. Okay, I'm going to click this window because I'm going to be working on this side now. I'm going to click Control V. See how I pasted it right in the center? What I want to do is I want to take this. And it was on the top left. It's going to go to the bottom right. Things are going to be opposite. Okay, so I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to drag it right down here. And you'll know that it's in the bottom right because it'll kind of snap down in there into that corner. And you can see how you get like a purple line there on the right, and you'll get a purple line on the bottom, and then you just let go. Okay. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to make this big again. Okay. It's selected up here, so I need to deselect it. Control D to deselect. Okay. I did the top left. Now I'm going to do the top right. Okay. So I'm going to come back here to that dot right in the center. Okay. It's at 200, 200. I'm going to click. And I'm going to drag up here to the right. Just like this. 
Okay. Control C to copy. Click here, drag this over here to the left, and click on this window. If I don't click on this window, watch what happens. If I go to paste it, whoops, it pasted it right here. Okay. And if you accidentally do that, all you have to do to get rid of it is Control Z, and it will undo it. Okay. So you got to make sure that you click on the right window because that has happened to me more than one time. So I'm going to click over here, okay? I'm going to do Control V, okay, to paste it. It was on the top right over here, so it's going to be on the bottom left over here. So I'm going to pull this down here, and you see how it highlights that left edge uh, purpley pink and the bottom edge purpley pink, okay? I'm going to let go of it, okay? There it is. All right, so come back over here, make this window on the left big again. Okay, so I've done the top. Now I'm going to come down here, bottom left. Okay, once again, put my cursor right on that dot. Okay, make sure it's at 200, 200. And sometimes it's easier than others, but I will say. The bigger you can get this image, that's why I made it up to 135%, the easier it is to get right on that center, okay? So now I have it selected, I'm going to do Control C to copy, okay? I'm going to click and drag this over here to the left again. Come over here, click on this window, Control V, okay? This was in the bottom left, so it needs to go up here to the top right. Okay, so I'm going to drag this up here top right. See how it's pink on the right and the top edge of the box? I'll let go of it. Okay. And then I'll come back over here. Make this big once again. Okay. Now, right here is the last um, section that I'm going to do, the bottom right section. Okay. So I'm going to click Control D to, to deselect. And then I'm going to, once again, use um, my cursor. Make sure that over here uh, it says 200, 200, okay, right over here. Okay, click, drag it down this way. And you can drag it outside the box like this much. You know, it doesn't matter because it will snap to the edges. Okay, control C to copy. Drag this over here. Click on this window, Control V. Okay, and bring this up to the top left. See how it's got that um, purple line on the left and the top? That means that it's snapping to those uh, sides. I'm going to let go of it. Okay, I'm going to make this window big now. And I can go ahead and close this one because I don't need this one anymore. Okay, I'm going to make this one big. Okay. Now, I'm just going to click out here, all right, and you can see it made a totally different image. It looks different than your first one, okay? Um, and, as you can also see, we've got several layers here going on, which we don't really want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click these three dots, okay? And there's a bunch of different options here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to come down here to this button that says Merge Visible, and it merges all those layers into one, and that's good. That's what we want, okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to File, and I'm going to go to Save. And you see how um, I have this title, Freeborn Repeater Title. You need yours to say your last name, okay? Um, and Repeater Tile. Make sure it's a JPEG, high quality, and then you're going to click Download, okay? All right, so after you've saved it, you're going to come in here to Google Drive. You're going to click New, File Upload, okay, and you want to make sure that it's your newest file, okay, which would be this one here, okay, and I've done this a couple times trying to get my video just right, okay, uh, but right here, and if you don't see it right at the top, you can click Recent. 
and it'll show your most recent file. So that's it right there. Click open. And it's going to save it. Okay. And that's that's the one that I'm going to be using right here. Okay. And then the last thing that you need to do is you come in here to your week five repeater tile. Come in here to submit. You're going to go right here. It's already on the correct tab, Upload. You're going to click File. There it is right there at the top. Again, if you can't see it, click Recent. Okay. Open. Submit. And that's it.